Okay, this is how I test, maybe a better word is bin, B-I-N, my backrolls to determine if I can use them within the low-pass gate circuit. Uh, the decay time is very important. It has to be somewhat slow. Let me ex explain what's going on here. This is an active test uh, board. You can see the power coming in here. I have a zero insertion force socket. That's designed for a 16-pin dip IC, but I'm using the four-corner uh, pins for the back drill. Okay, when you put that little arm down, it just gently grabs on the leads, holds it snug with no marking or damage to the leads whatsoever. Okay, I'm driving the LED with a transistor. You can see the NPN here. It's getting its base signal from, it's turning on every time that center light goes on in the Model 28. So every time that sends a gate out, it's conducting and sending current through that LED and it's turning on. As far as the resistive element, I'm getting a steady, steady state DC voltage from my attenuator. It's about nine volts, nine, 10 volts. And um, I'm looking at the output of the resistive net, uh, element with the scope. That's where I see the decay. And there it is. Okay, what are we looking at? I have two cursors. See those uh, vertical lines? I can go from one to the other. The first cursor is set at the moment the decay starts. So that's when the Model 28 ends the gate and this conducting curve is the vacuole being inefficient, okay? And the second cursor is set when it hits ground. The magic number I'm looking at is delta time, the time between this point and this point, the duration of that decay. And that is delta time 6.38 milliseconds. This is a non-acceptable vacuole for use in a low pass gate, way too quick. What I'm looking for and something in the one, three quarters, three, even five second range. I might be able to go a little bit higher because that's my circuit alteration, but this definitely will not work. I'm gonna have to do this 500 times, 400 times. Actually, 800 times. Oh, fun, Jesus, uh, to bin all these um, vacuoles. But you know, what I do for love. Um, and thankfully, my signet, siglet, scope will, when I turn it on, will come right back to the setting when I power it up again. Thank God, because this is a kind of a pain to get to. So there you go. In case you've ever been curious how you do it, that's how I do it anyway. <laughs>